Right, I thought it might be interesting to actually do a little video on uh, how I do the embroidery. Um, the program that I'm using here is the one that came with the machine. It's one by Brother. Um, they make it. Uh, when you open it up, you actually get this. Um, Introductory screen, if you want the wizard. I normally just close that. I don't use it. Um, I'm just trying to have a look to see whether I can show you the version. One second. That's what it is. PE Designer 10. Made by Brother. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a simplistic tool. Um, quite clever um, as well as being quite simplistic to use so first off what we do is we actually start off with the blank blank page there and we're going to check and see what our design settings are first so this is basically setting up the machine the, the size of the hoop you're going to use um, the one I will use will be 300 by 200 um, and we're going to be using the multi needle machine, which that one there is, because you can use a single machine, single needle machine there. Um, also, that's okay. So, the first thing you want to do is actually load up a design. Um, so, you want to get an image. So, if we have a look on here, and we'll get an image from the file. Wait for my drives to catch up. There we go. Um, I've got various ones in my embroidery thing. Um, so we go on to embroidery pictures. I'm going to choose a picture. Um, let's have a look. I actually quite like these silhouette ones, they're quite good. So we'll choose that one, choose soldier silhouette. And we'll open that, and then we resize it to the size we want. So let's resize this up. And there we go. And we're going to do an outline, um, sorry, a, a silhouette type um, embroidery pattern. Which is very very simple for the likes of doing this sort of thing. So first off, what we do, we go back to home in there, and we're going to do um, shape, and we're going to do. Um, I can't remember what we're doing here. <laughs> Um, just bear with me. Um, uh -oh. Close, close, do that. We'll choose the colour, so we're going to do black. And you can see here we've got um, a zigzag stitch on the outside, which we don't want. We want a running stitch, and we'll have a fill stitch on there, so we're going to fill it with it. So then we just basically need to find a starting point, which we will do there. And we're going to do a rough outline. Um, quickly, just very roughly, do an outline of the whole thing. I'll probably fast forward this bit, because it will take me a little bit of time to do it. We've got straight edges like that, you can um, change to the straight edge tool instead of the curved one. Because it makes a nice neater corner. And that's what you want.
drag back to the curve. I'm using the shortcut keys on the uh, keyboard for this by the way. Um, makes it a bit simpler. So that, the, doing the straight edge is just a, the Z and then doing the curve is um, an X. So it makes it a lot easier to do. Okay, if we finish that there, and to finish it we'll just double click. calculates it and it will fill in all the areas that you've done um, basically do all the stitches for you but with this one we've got a few little issues because we've got to put these um, white areas in so there are a couple of ways you can do this you can um, go in and, and basically delete the edges and delete the stitches or you can go in and edit the, the contact points if you like I call them contact points the trace lines um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and edit those. So what we do, um, we need to zoom in on it, obviously. So we will do that first. So we zoom in. There. Like so. Ooh. Zoom out to there. So we change that to there so we can see the points. The edge there. Um, what we're going to do is just turn that off for a second to see where we want to be. So I'm going to start here. So I'll click there. And I'll click next to it. I want to make a point, and then we drag that down. You see, you you've got a, an opening there. So we'll pull that back up there. And then we're going to drag this piece. Another point there, and we'll drag that out. Wrong side. I'm going to grab the handle for a second. Don't want it down there. And pull it on that side. We want to make that. Now we've got a shape, we can pull these around, and we're basically going to drag this and line it up with the edges. So that piece there. Drag that piece over there. That piece there. I'm going to grab that over there. Let's make that into a straight. If we right click on that, we can make it into a straight. Mm. to there. Let's close that gap up. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can then expand this piece a bit. 
I'm going to expand this. Oops, I've got to delete them. Move the thing again. What I'm trying to do here is actually drag it down to the bottom of the opening so that I can see the whole thing. Okay. Now this, this takes a little bit of time and it's a little bit fiddly but you get the gist of what I'm doing. Change that back to select. And there you can see we've made made our little opening there. And we're going to do the same sort of process for these pieces here, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so real quick fast forward and uh, using the same process as did over there. Um, I've now trace that all the other areas where there should be white showing and that's basically what we get left so if we want to turn off the picture behind so we can actually see the stitches on their own we right click anywhere on it where the background that is sorry we have to change that first keep that select tool there we go then. We've got display image and we can turn it off. And that's how we're going to look. Don't worry about it looking a lot shadier than all that at the moment, but it won't once it's stitched. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the uh, sewing attributes. And we've got. Uh, uh, an under sew on there, which basically puts down something to hold the uh, the material and the backing together. It's like a, a very loose um, stitch first. We then have um, our density. At the moment, that's set of uh, 4.5 stitches. Oh, sorry, lines per millimetre, and we want to just put that up to five, and that will that will make it quite a bit denser. And then we just have a little look down. Nothing else there. The direction of the stitch. You see the red line here? That shows us which way it's going to going to stitch. We can change that. Sometimes it makes it look a little bit better if you change the angle slightly. Let's click somewhere else. And you see the picture. Now we've got a little play button down here, which will um, simulate how it stitches out. So if we do that we see it's doing the under stitch first and then we're going to start filling it in
speed up a little bit. Okay. Now what we do is we save it. Um, save it as. We'll, we'll see about doing a video of actually uh, producing one of these uh, designs and actually stitching it out. So you can see the end result. Okay, thank you very much.